Restoration now. I speak it by the spirit. The power of God is still coming on people. Recover. Recover by the spirit. Recover. I stretch my hands. Recover by the power of prophecy. Recover. Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery, recovery, recovery. Restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare, inside, outside, all the overflows, anyone under the sound of my voice, who is under the influence of the spirit of delay, at the count of three, may fire from heaven fall upon those chains. One, two, three. I break those chains now. Be free now from delay. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick and powerful. I declare again, any family here, any individual under the yoke of delay, I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. broken by the spirit hallelujah now I want to pray please listen I have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may God grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you'll find people running by the spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family. That dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year. I declare right now, let it come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Speed. Parush Kabarakata. Speed. Career speed. I give speed to your life, speed to ministry. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy. Please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. 
every planting that is not of the Lord I overturn and I uproot now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Naomi I'm hearing a name Naomi we have to hurry up I want to pray for the sick Naomi Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God. And I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say. Baby is preached. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying, you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young. But you are going to be a mother to many. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. 
the grace that you want to make married men disturb you look at me i come against that spirit now not only you there are five other people i'm seeing i don't know where they are but in jesus name there is a like like it like an almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you Parus kamana hashileketa in the name of jesus by the god of heaven i lift that negative thing off your life now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i hear the name magdalene i don't know if magdalene i want to pray very quickly we have to pray for the sick you are the covenant keeping god as you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Lord, turn impossible situations around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus release miracles release solutions break yokes oh god turn around family situations for your name's sake reveal callings reveal destinies let your people find purpose let your people find direction make sure you are praying Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus louder amen in the name of jesus amen. father tonight we come to you the god that can answer prayers and lord i decree standing in the presence of your people thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two i declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the god of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by god to allow this request to be answered in the name of jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now father answer speedily lord answer speedily turn situations around every death sentence 
represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of Jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of God that these requests are met in Jesus name as I stand upon these requests I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus name and I prophesy over you by the God of heaven the Egyptians that you see today that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond I declare by the Spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in Egypt if you go out of Egypt no going back in the name of Jesus between now and the next three weeks may the God of heaven in the name of Jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems I mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest I mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise hallelujah I'm going to declare the last prophetic one over everyone here please I like you to be sensitive don't be careless about it hallelujah please they can come and pick it I believe in the power of prophecy the spoken word is also creative it can make things happen it not only reveals what will happen it makes things that has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over you please hear me by the God of heaven every door that has been closed over your destiny I stand here as the servant of the living God I force that door to open now everyone trusting God for a job a meaningful job not a nonsense job that does not have honor I pray now a job that will not take your relationship away from God a job that will not make you compromise receive that job in the name of Jesus I pray for your spiritual life the kind of fire that you need on your prayer life in this season I speak over you receive fresh fire access to revelation access to light receive it in Jesus name every helper of your destiny who must show up in this season to make the word of God to come to pass I command them to appear now I preached last week on the book of remembrance let me pray that prayer in the name of Jesus I open the book both in the heavens and in the earth and I declare every good thing you have done to any man on earth I compel remembrance now I compel remembrance now every kind of barrenness biological barrenness financial barrenness career barrenness ministerial barrenness i cause it now and i command it to leave you let me pray over the spirit of death any family here appointed unto death i speak by the god of heaven be free now number two every family appointed unto hardship 
that you will never see the goodness and the salvation of the Lord I cancel that pronouncement now listen by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of Jesus I cause every foundational issue that causes hardship and pain and retrogression over your life now the kind of honor you have never seen in your life I speak to you by the Spirit step into it let me pray for favor I will never stop praying this prayer till you carry it bodily access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of kings receive it now by favor restoration of visions dreams listen there are many of you who used to have dreams and encounters nothing crosses over you without your eyes seeing it but it looks like you are becoming like eli your eyes becoming dim i pray for you i fan back your vision to flames in the name of jesus every pattern that is in any family you see it in your siblings you see it in your life i declare let it be broken now anyone in ministry here please hear me i speak to you as you return back to your various stations let fire fall upon your altar I pray for everyone in business dying business dead business let it come back to life now please don't just say amen believe creation is happening everything God showed you from the beginning of this year and told you should have entered your hand by now but the devil is adding 30 extra years to your 400 years i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ hear me i speak to you by the god of heaven any man that fights you goes down instantly And anyone holding what is yours and has vowed not to release it in the name of Jesus may God humble the pride of wicked men anyone who has said over my dead body for this family to move may God answer their prayers I open the door of favor towards every family here in the name of Jesus all our ladies and all the women that are due to give birth I declare give birth like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus let me pray for all the gentlemen our time is gone but I must pray for you the grace that establishes a man early may that grace rest on you for those of you who are still 30 years 35 40 50 still loitering your parents house eating your mother's food not just as honor but as a necessity in the name of Jesus by the God who is the lifter of men I declare may that reproach live your life now anyone here called barren in Jesus name by November miracle service you come here pregnant already let me pray for every ministry here every prayer group 
every platform intercessory groups churches fresh grace for you in the name of jesus christ the final prayer i'm going to pray for you honor is what makes men reward you listen 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 honor is the ability to discern the ability to celebrate and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness you can be as anointed as anything but when honor is not on you men will only just celebrate you from afar but you will never live a rewarded life i pray the prayer that jabez cried unto god for the bible says and jabez was more honorable than his brethren i pray for you everywhere you find yourself rise above your contemporaries let me pray the last prayer point don't say it's not important there are people here your life is not advancing the kingdom in any way this is not altar call this prayer for you to settle down and let your life advance as far as god is concerned you are time on earth if your life does not find a space to advance the kingdom not your work not your service not your worship it looks like nothing about your life there is no kingdom come represented in your life you are just living for yourself hand to mouth to marry have children maybe go to school get a job i redirect your focus now in the name of jesus christ may your life and everything involved around it cause the kingdom the power and the glory of god to be manifest in the name of jesus and every other request here whether mentioned or not i stand in agreement with you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god receive it as a testimony there are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision i saw of this pregnant woman in the name of jesus i stand as a prophetic midwife i command your prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now by the spirit and the power of God prophetic delivery right now now please hear me people usually run when I pray for speed but people are going to be running but for a different reason now it is not just for speed I want you to be sensitive it is not just for speed it is still the same running but the spirit of God is speaking to me hallelujah this running prophetically is a sign of deliverance leaving the place of pain into the place of glory leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity i'm going to stretch my hands now the power of god will come on many people and they will start running hold them gently and just bring them out i decree and declare even as god has revealed to me i release that grace right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now from any obstacle any condition bring a pakoskete bata bringing you shame and reproach be separated right now open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i prophesy a separation by the spirit of the living god
Hallelujah. Who is Matilda? I'm hearing a name Matilda. Matilda. This should be a lady's name. Matilda. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a name Matilda. Please be sensitive. We're going to pray. Matilda. The Lord is bringing a visitation to Matilda and her family. Who is Victory? I'm hearing the name Victory. Not Victor. Victory. Ends with a Y. Victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a strange visitation that is coming for that person. Please don't, don't just come out at random. Let's, let's be sure that victory. What's your name, my dear? Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for people, but I'm seeing a woman, a lady. You had a miscarriage last week. You had a miscarriage last week. Please help them. You had a miscarriage last week. I don't know where that person is, but I want to pray for you now. Victory. You have victory? I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you. I'm going to pray for everybody, but I'm seeing oil right now. And the Lord is, I'm with that oil, I'm seeing something leaving your body. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the Holy Spirit. First two of you before I pray, I command right now, in the name of Jesus, by this oil and this mantle upon you, every demonic thing, every embargo sitting upon your destiny, I cast it out of you right now. 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 There is a lady, you had a miscarriage last week. This is what God is showing me. Please make sure you don't tell lies. We have a, a, a miscarriage last week. Who is that? What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. You had a miscarriage last week. You're married? How long? This year. This year. I'm going to pray for you. Who is miscarriage? How long? Last week. Last week. Where are you from? From Maraba. No, 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 no. Where are you from? State of origin. A do state. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing stones around fire. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me to take it away. I declare every altar that is speaking against your life. As I'm praying for her, I'm praying for someone. In the name of Jesus, anything that will not let you go, I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now. I stand prophetically and I scatter I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life. I prophesy to you right now I don't care what the medical situation is return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children now who is Augustina Augustina I'm hearing a name Augustina Augustina 
God is bringing victory for that family. The family of Augustina. God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it. More than seven years, it has not been completed. Whether it's an individual, whether it's a family, no matter what it is that you do, it looks like it is not completed. I want you to lift your hands. You don't have to come out. The power of God is coming upon you right now. It is the finisher's anointing. You will be surprised to see what happens. Some of you, before December, I'm standing as a pakosh ketebeleketa, embrakatos ketibalata. Every power sitting on this project and will not allow you make progress. I decree and declare, go forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm standing in front of a river. Please look, listen carefully. I'm standing in front of a river and this is what I'm seeing. You would think it's fish that is coming out of the river, but I'm seeing human beings tied with chains. You know how fish comes out and goes back. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set people free now. Please listen. I'm going to, it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now. Please hear me. I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come. You know how fishes jump? But I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes. But they are human beings. I'm praying right now. You are about to shout Jesus. My goodness, my God. Every marine spirit. Spirits of darkness connected to the waters. It was an element of creation God gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be. In the name of Jesus, anyone whose destiny has been buried, kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits, as you shout the name Jesus, may that fire come upon you and I lose you. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I lose you now. I lose you now. Covenants and altars to water I lose you now 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 I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something the Bible says in revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the Bible said the sea gave up the dead. The sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies. Tied down by activities of witchcraft. When you read your Bible it says all of the abundance came forth out of the waters. And the devil has manipulated it to destroy people. I am still praying again. Anyone's destiny here. Your destiny means where God has preordained for you that has been tied, trapped down. Maritally, financially, in terms of fruitfulness, I decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now! Be judged now! Hallelujah! Please look at me. I want to ask you a question. 
when Naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free look up where did the leprosy go to where did the dead skin go to the spirit of that leprosy was still hovering round. the man who Jesus told him to wash at Siloam when he washed and he saw where did the blindness go to now listen just because people have abused all of these things through unfortunately extra biblical practices you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer are we together now The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the Trinity too as ice, as liquid and as gas. Water is not limited by anything, does not fear anything, does not run away from anything. Very mysterious. Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years, and yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now, anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names, my God, I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation. There's someone here you've been having I'm going to pray for the sick shortly you've been having severe headache when it comes upon you it almost acts as if you are losing your mind this is a very demonic thing this is not just a headache as a result of fatigue the power of God is coming upon you right now right now Two of you are not in this auditorium, but the power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who have come out here, you did not just come out to waste your time. I decree and declare. The same way these spirits have left you, they go for good. And for some of you, even before this service is over, your testimony begins. Yeah. Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. 
Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit laughter laughter step into your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ <laughs> hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray for a family oh dear you are from Gombe State Gombe State where is the family Gombe State Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out oh, if we have that there is I, I'm seeing a family uh, mother and not our people are already out now what do we do mama you are welcome we'll pray. of course everybody wants to go forward so once you hear a word I will pray for you. That's no, no, no. You don't have to come. Ah, Deborah. Deborah. I already prayed for Deborah. You received by faith. And eh? we're talking of um, Gombe State. The Lord is speaking to me. Ah. I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. Gombe is a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State I'm using this once in front as a prophetic point of contact listen the power of God is going to come upon you and everything that represents shame and reproach for that family whether you are here represented or prophetically following online in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now Every activity of witchcraft now be broken, be broken. Help mama, please. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken now. The Lord is showing. I'm going to pray for you. Listen. In the name of Jesus, um, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Not, not necessarily in Gombe State. This is another case God is showing me. Ladies, whether they get married, they are not able to have children. And this is like a pattern. It's happened to a number of the ladies. You don't have to come out. Whether you are online or you are in here, please, I want you to believe. God is visiting people's situations. In the name of Jesus, before I finish with you, my Gombe people, any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command those altars broken now. We command those altars broken now.
Now, for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings, wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. I'm going to pray for the sick. How many of you believe in prosperity? Financial prosperity. I know there are five levels. I'm talking about financial prosperity. I believe in it. Oh. I don't know if you don't believe, you can, you can. It is a very bad thing to be poor. Let me just tell you straight to the point. The reason is, and remember you have been taught here, when we teach this, we are not teaching from a, an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things. But let me assure you by the Spirit of God, you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself. Poverty takes away dignity from the life of people. Hallelujah. There is the wisdom that brings prosperity first as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide there is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity but there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey get this equation now wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide that is the department of wisdom there is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you then there is the prophetic dimension are we together if you lack any one of these three you will be poor if you have a superior belief system you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men and if those men don't like you and don't believe you, you can be valuable and you will still remain there. Are we together? If you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom, you will only have circumstantial wealth, as important as it is. Because men will come, but wisdom, your, your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand. But if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is, and you do not have the prophetic, you will keep building and crashing. Because one activity of demon spirits, one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely. You can impart the spirit of wisdom, but it takes time to build belief systems. And that's what we do every week. As for favor, there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor. But this prophetic dimension is my assignment. I'm going to pray for the sick, but I want to speak it. Listen, by the grace of God, I vowed before God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life. God is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees. God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life. You are praying for rent. No. God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again. It is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper. Listen to me. Men can prosper. I know that there are this ministry has very successful people at different levels building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in famine you will laugh this balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking that's not the kingdom's way at every level we can still rise higher 
and for some of you who are saying i am comfortable your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources you are not prosperous for as long as your resources ends up with you your comfort yes but your comfort alone wrong for the sake of thy prosperity i desire your house i'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick please i plead with you in the name of jesus if you ever believe and respect the prophetic believe this declaration just believe it and insult me that i'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen but please believe it father in the name of jesus christ i cry unto you you are a covenant keeping god i have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence lord there are people here who love you sincerely but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down i stand by the prophetic in the name of jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open i prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now businesses receive that grace now